Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to do an overview of Turtle app, and that's Turtle, it's spelled T-U-R-T-L without an E. So normally Turtle, the animal is spelled T-U-R-T-L-E, but this app is spelled T-U-R-T-L without the E, and its logo is a turtle shell. And this is kind of an open source alternative to Google Keep or Evernote. And I personally think it's a good app. And you can run the desktop app on your own computer. And it supports um, major operating systems, Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, and maybe eventually iOS. And let's read a little bit about, um, about this. It says, organize your life. Whether it's bookmarks or passwords, files or shopping lists, Turtle organizes it at all and makes it easy to find later. Sync across your devices, leave nothing behind, and protect your data. Turtle uses high-end cryptography to protect your data. Whether you're worried about information leaks, competitive advantage, or blanket government surveillance, Turtle works hard to make sure um, only you and those you choose can see your data. Okay, and um, they have this thing about there was an audit of the core code, and I presume this person is a uh, security expert that they would link to. And uh, I'll briefly go over the GitHub pages. So they have GitHub uh, repositories. So this is their main um, GitHub page, and then they have repositories. So they have the desktop repository, server repository, and uh, they have the core repository too. And honestly, you don't need to go here, but if you do want to set up the server by yourself or um, set up the desktop um, app by yourself, you can. In theory, you can run Turtle on your own computer, uh, the server on your own computer or on a separate server that you run. I'm gonna. Sh I'm just gonna show you running on the Turtles official servers because I trust them. But if for some reason you don't trust them, or if you just uh, just you want to put it on your own server, just like some people prefer to run code on their own servers and they prefer not to use a third party to for whatever reason. Okay, so these are. Um, yeah, so this is the 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 server repository you don't need to to read that unless you actually want to run the server yourself so you can check out their um, github page okay and um, going back to the main page so again this is this is open source so th again it's like an open source alternative to um, google keep or evernote and then if you download here it supports Windows, um, Mac OS 10, x64, Linux. I'm going to use Linux, but uh, I'm going to assume that you already know how to install code. So this downloads as an MSI file in Linux um, and OS X .zip file. So with Linux, you would download the tar.bz2 file and you would extract it and set it up. And once you get it set up, you can um, you can use their servers, and that's what I recommend, at least initially. But if you want to go through the extra steps of setting up your own server, you can. In this tutorial, I'm going to assume that you're using their servers. And uh, yeah, so let's get started here. So assuming that you've, uh, you need to make it, if you want to um, use their servers, it's, it's very simple to make an account. You just need an email address and a password. You put your password in twice, and then you'll get an email. Um, you got to verify the, uh, it's like an email confirmation. And once you set it up, uh, you should be good to go. So I'm going to delete this here just to get started here. So when you first install it, it's going to look something like this. It's going to be completely blank. And then here you can put notes. Here you have text notes, bookmark image, file, and password. And uh, I personally, the vast majority of the time, I would only use text note or image. The other ones I usually would not use. 
And then here's an interesting uh, way to organize they have basically. So uh, when you first start out, it, it defaults to, um, so you have spaces and then within each space, there are um, boards. So basically the highest level is spaces and then the within each space you have boards. I created this thing called just in space but um, I'll just delete it. So when you first install it you'll have these three spaces. You'll have home, personal, and work and um, for example I think personal is, is the default one and within uh, here you have different boards. So let's start with personal. So I can say this is an example text note. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, we have different um, different boards, but let's just skip that. I think there's a default board. Or I think maybe it goes to all notes. Yeah, so I guess the default one is all notes. This is an example text note, blah, blah, blah. And then let's um, let's do a new, create a new space. Um, uh, oh yeah, again, let's, I'll call it Justin's space. Or we can call it whatever you want. We'll call it, uh, you know what? Call it Watson Tech World Space. And you can change the color. For example, let's say you like that color, that color green. You can change it and then save it. And if you don't like the color, you can go back and uh, you can change it. Setting here, let's say you don't like that. You like, uh, I don't know, you like a, a lighter blue maybe. So now it's a, a lighter, I think it saved or did it not save? I'm not sure. All right, let's change it to a purplish color. Okay, so uh, I'm not sure why I, d I was not saving the color properly. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I just didn't, I literally just didn't click on save. So that's the issue. Okay. So anyway, so I have this space and then now I have the, you have the default all notes, but let's say, for example, I have, uh, I want to create a new, a new board, personal board. And then I'll have another board. Let's call it, um, work board. All right. So let's go back to personal board and um, okay, so originally, again, originally it was on personal and we made a personal note, but we can actually move this. So move to another space and then uh, I'll what's in tech world space and then move to personal board. And then if we go back to that space and then personal board, we can uh, see that note again. And if we want to edit it, we can edit it. Uh, one, two, three, or just say blah, blah, this is an example, an example, okay. So now I want to show you um, an image. So before I continue, I have um, images I've seen online so I have a presumably a tiger mother and a baby a panda and ocean and a moon and an image of the moon and I'm gonna you can put an image URL um, or you can upload an image from your computer Okay, so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload from my computer the tiger image. Okay, see that I, uh, now we have this image, we have the title, and then we have some notes about it. If we want to edit it, we can click on here, we can edit it. Tiger, mother, and baby, 
now edited. Okay, and let's do one more. Let's do um, let's do an image of a, a panda. All right, we'll do one more here. We'll do image, and we'll say uh, image of a panda. Here are some notes about pandas. And I'm going to upload the image. Okay, and um, so we see here again, I said image of a panda. Here are some notes about pandas. And if you want, you can um, delete or move to another. And again, we can edit this and add uh, edit like that. And I want to show you an example of deleting. So let's say you no longer want this note. You can just go delete. And it'll ask you really delete this note and click on OK, or you can cancel. So let's really delete it. And then now let's move this tiger image to uh, the work board. So we're going to move to another space or another board. And um, Okay, so let's move to personal and for some reason move to passwords. All right, so it should be um, under passwords. Okay, so the passwords is just the name. I don't think it matters, but maybe passwords would make sense to have actual passwords. All right, let's move this again. Let's move this back to what's in tech world and um, let's go to work board. Okay, so we have the tiger mother and the baby. And then um, let's say this, this is a text note again. Okay, so one of the downsides, unfortunately, is we can't drag like Google um, Keep like we can't drag it and move it, but um, to me that's not that big of a deal. I think something that really something that is really cool is that it supports Markdown. So if you've ever used ChatGPT or any other AI tool, often the output will be say uh, you'll copy it actually as Markdown. And here's a, a page about um, how to use Markdown. Uh, so anyway, this tool is very cool because it supports Markdown. So let's say, for example, this is example text with Markdown. Um, this is a um, this is big text. This is smaller and smaller. Okay, so this is um, these should be bullets. One, two, three. Okay, so I think this is an H1, H2, H3, and then those are bullets like in HTML. Right, so the equivalent in HTML, this would, I think this equivalent would be like an H1, this is like an H2, like an H3, and then um, this is like an LI in HTML. But this is this is markdown. So anyway, you don't have to use markdown, but I think it's a cool feature if you want to uh, format your text. I think that's pretty cool. It supports markdown. And then I think also this is, it supports bold. I think this is um, let's see if uh, it's bold. I think bold needs the two asterisks around it. Yeah, so I just made that bold. And again, the, the equivalent like in HTML, I think in HTML it's something like this, strong. Something like that. And I wonder if it actually supports it here. Okay, cool. So you can actually, and maybe that is supported. So you can use, I guess, like basic HTML or Markdown. Okay, so this was a quick overview of Turtle. That's T-U-R-T-L without the E. It's, a, it's an app that's an open source alternative to Google Keep and Evernote, and I think it's really cool, and you can check it out. Thanks for, and see you in the next one.